is our team. We've got our climber. We've got our belayer. We've got our anchor. We've got our backup belayer. And we've got our rope manager. Climber's purpose is to what? Climb. Climb. Belayer. Purpose is to what? To what? Heidi? Oh, you were right. Oh, to catch them as they fall. To catch them or protect them while they're climbing so they don't fall. Good. Anchor. What is our anchor's job? What you got, Just to hold the belt loop the back. To hold my belt loop or the Blair's belt loop in the back. Why would we want that? So then if he falls, yeah, it's until he doesn't fall. So I don't go anywhere. So if the climber does fall, her weight's going to go into mine. I can go forward up against the wall or I can get raised. He is here and has added weight to hold me down. Back up, Belair. What is your job? Make sure that if you fall or something, I got you. Okay, so if he's here, for we talk about redundancy, he's here to protect me. Ladies with long hair, this, I'm going to see this a lot. When I am belaying and doing the act, and I'll show you how to do that, if you got long hair, your hair will get entangled in this rope and you suck it through the HB Sheriff, and you're going to be like, ow, so what's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to take your hands off. And now this rope is going to free fall. If she lets go, she's going down. Okay? At that point, our backup player is going to be ready. And that is his or her job to make sure we put on the friction de device. I could seize. I could do uh, there's something. Any health-related issue could happen to me. Uh, we have that in place to help us. Okay? And then finally, at the end, we have our rope manager. And our rope manager is there to help keep the rope up off the ground because we do not want to get dirty uh, because that dirt and sand acts as little glass fragments and cuts our rope and we do not want that. Also, the rope manager is not too, uh, once the climber taxis down, he or she's just going to drop the rope back, grab the climber's back belt loop as they're taxiing down and gently guide them to the ground once they are about head height. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, now as far as the system and communication, okay, who is, whose life is ultimately uh, at risk? Climber. Climber. So the climber is going to start what's called a contract. Okay, she's going to start a contract. The first thing that she's going to say is on Malay. Okay, meaning, Hunter, if you turned around and looked at that little sign right behind you that has all the commands, which means... Protect me, please. Protect me, please. And then the belayer yeah. responds, says belayan, meaning that I will, I will protect you. Okay? After that, it doesn't mean we start climbing. We go through what's called our safety checks. Okay? First, you are going to check yourself as the belayer and climber. Checking myself, make sure I'm not any red. I got this. I got my screw down so I don't screw up. Am I locked into place? Do I have quarter turn off? Does it go through the uh, carabiners? HP Sheriff correctly is my helmet on straight. Okay? So I did my self check. You did your self check. Okay? Now, next, we talk about redundancy because there could be, I could be just flying through this. I trust that I did myself correctly. But we want to have. Ultimately, the climber then checks. So I am going to get checked again because my life, her life, is in my hands. She wants to make sure it's safe. So she's physically going to squeeze the carabiners to make sure they're tight. She's going to look to make sure that there is no red and that I went through my back belt loop. Now I am going to check her as well. We are good. We are good. We are good. Turn around. We are good. Okay? That is our first redundancy point. But to add to it, we are going to add a third safety check. Okay, this is going to be done by anchor. the anchor and the backup layer. Anchor is going to check the climber. Backup layer is going to check myself. Same thing that, I, that she did to me. Squeeze, squeeze, rope, anchor points. Gotcha. Good, good. She is good to go. Okay. Next up, what do we say, Hunter? The climber is going to say climbing, okay? And when I am ready as the belayer, okay, I at that point, when I know I feel my anchor behind me, I have a good position, okay? I see my backup belayer is in good position and ready to go. At this point, I am going to say climb on, okay? As a practice, being this close to the wall in order to get create tension, 
when we utilize the wall or the field goal post, if we go outside, Heimer needs to start back by half court. Just start back up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Good. All right, so I feel my anchor grabbing my uh, belt loop. I need you to scoot forward, okay? As the backup layer, what we want to create is a big smiley face. We don't want this straight because then it's pulling it out of my hands, okay? So I said climb on, now we're gonna go with the actual belay skill, okay? We use a method called P-Bus, okay? You're gonna repeat this phrase over and over in your head, okay? P stands for pull and punch at the same time. So with my right hand, I am left-handed, so I like everything coming out to the left. So I am gonna P, which is pull and punch. Now B stands for break. Don't keep it left. B is break. In order to put on the break, what I'm gonna do is just slam my left hand down. Okay, next, the U stands for under, which means I'm gonna take my right hand now off the rope Go underneath the, the running line and underneath my left hand and grab underneath. And then I am going to go the S, which stands for slide. And I am just going to slide my left hand up. And then I am going to repeat the process. Pull, punch, break, under, slide. Pull, punch, break, under, slide. Okay? My left hand never comes off the rope. If you are right-handed, your right hand will never come off the rope. If it comes off the rope at any time, if I take my hand off now, 